as requested um, doing a scan that's going to be of a shiny item also an item that's on the smaller side this scan will be using the parallel lines there are the IR laser since it's shiny I'll put it on shiny object mode And for this video, I'll just keep everything real time so you can get a feel of how things work. And as you can see, it picked it up just fine. There's no spray or anything on this. And this is pure aluminum. And while scanning, you want to simply make sure that there's at least six markers in view at a time. Right now, I'm trying to get some of the sides. There might not quite be six of them that it can see. And this right here will do it for this scan. This is enough data that I need. I'll just go ahead and pause it, then complete the scan. Go ahead to the fuse. I generally do most of my items around two. You can do what's recommended, just depending on how much you scan the item. The number will drop if you just got a couple of frames. It'll probably be something like a 0.6. If you get more frames, it'll go down. But 0.2 is fine. Again, this is all real-time processing. Uh, I'll list my laptop specs somewhere in the corner. But the Inspire 2 has been a pretty great scanner. The price of it is very good for what it's capable of doing. It's a nice starter scanner. So if you're looking into getting into 3D scanning, it's something that's worth looking into. Okay, and it's finished fusing. We'll just take a look. And it picked up everything that I needed it to pick up. This is more than enough to reverse engineer. Just go ahead and trim it up. We'll use the lasso tool. I normally highlight the item and then do an invert.
same thing, lasso tool. Then we do an isolation just to get rid of any floaty points. Overlap. This just gets rid of any points there stacked on top of each other. Then we'll get into the meshing. Generally, I run it at about six, but sometimes I'll go a little bit lower, maybe five or so. You're looking for the grid size to kind of match what you fused it at. But for this model here, I'll just take it down to a five eight. And hole fills, I'll leave that off because I don't want any of the holes on the bottom or anything to be filled. I'm gonna bring this into CAD and I'll show you the specs there. Again, this is real-time processing. And this is how it came out. This is really not bad at all. You can make out the threads. And you gotta remember, this is a sub $500 scanner. And this is the item that's shiny with no spray. I'll just go ahead and export this and then I'll bring this into my CAD software. Geomagic Design is my CAD software. I've already imported it in and aligned it to the coordinate system. I'll just go ahead and take some measurements from it. So these are the raw measurements that I got just from doing a mesh sketch. I'll go ahead and compare those to the actual item. I'll put the video somewhere up here. But these right here would be close enough for me to redesign this. And here's the finished model. I didn't model in the threads, just got the basic shape. I could have done a better job modeling, but this was just me speed modeling through it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.